Alright, welcome back to another terrible episode with your terrible teacher who just can't get over making videos. Man, let's do this one fast so you don't get as bored as you always do watching me, or I take that back, listening to me. Just want to let you know the Giants and the Bengals are playing, and it is a horrible game. I think Eli Manning just got sacked for the 30th time, and it's halfway through the second quarter. Pathetic. Alright, in order for us to get started today, you need graphic organizer number two. Graphic organizer number two can be found in the box. If you can't figure that out, well, you better go get it now and pause this video. All right, here's where we get started. At the top of your graphic organizer, you need to come up with the definition of the distributed property. It is below. Plain and simple, the distributed property is an algebra strategy that is used to help simplify expressions in the form of A times B plus C or A times B minus C. All right, and we're going to show you that in just a minute. Oh, by the way, the Bengals just made a good play. Finally, something happened. Nice. All right, this is a, dis a visual of the distributed property. I'm going to be honest, it looks a little confusing, but once I describe it, it's really simple. Here we go. Why and when do we use the distributed property, and really, what is it? All right, let's talk about this first problem here on the left. In this first problem, you see that we have in our parentheses 2 plus 3. Well, we can use the order of operations because 2 plus 3 is 5, and then we just do simply 4 times 5 and get 20. Well, that's all fine and dandy, except for there is times, like over here, when you can't add things together. All right? 3x and 2y are not the same. All right? These things, what we're going to talk about in our next video, are not like terms. Okay? Not like terms means you can't just add them together. You cannot do 5xy. That doesn't work. All right? So unfortunately, what you need to do in this particular case is you can't use those order of operations. So what we do is we use the distributive property. And the distributive property says we can take the 7 on the outside and we can multiply it by the 3x. And okay, we can also add that and multiply 7 times the 2y. Okay, so 7 times 3x, 7 times 3 would give us 21, and the x stays the same, because it's 21x's. Okay, now, we would add 7 times the 2y, which gives us 14y. Now, that is actually our answer, because we cannot add x and y together. And once again, your second video will tell us that these are not like terms. We'll talk more about them in the next video, but they have to be like terms in order to add them. An example of like terms would be 27 or 21x plus 12x. Okay, Those both have x at the end, which means they're both like terms. But these ones are not. So in this particular case, your actual answer is this guy. Okay, It's this guy, 21x plus 14y. The difference is, okay, the difference is you cannot do this operation that's in there without separating them. Plain and simple, okay? We're going to show you a bunch more. Let me show it. Your objective for this video is as a student, you should be able to simplify expressions using the distributive property. Really easy, okay? And pretty much we use the distributive property when we have expressions with variables in it. Okay, if you look at this one right here, it says simplify 5 times 3n plus 4. Listen, 1 has a variable, 1 does not. Okay, the last day, example we did didn't have any variables. Or, sorry, I take that back, it had two variables. That's okay too, but this one you're going to see a lot of, especially in 6th grade. Alright, so simplify 5 times 3n plus 4. Well, remember that this right here means we're going to multiply. Okay, so... When there's no symbol between the 5 and the parentheses, it means it's a multiplication. Here's what we're going to do. Okay, We're going to go ahead and we're going to take that 5, and we're going to multiply it by 3n. And 5 times 3n gives us 15n, and then we're going to add, because that's the symbol that's right here. Okay, So we're going to add, right? We're going to add 5 times 4, and 5 times 4 is 20. Okay, Once again, these are not like terms, so this is your answer, 15n plus 20. And that's your answer. Okay, moving on. Do not write these down as your examples. We have six of them to go. We'll get there. Okay. Now, this is the same one. All we're going to say at the bottom is 15n and 20 are not alike and therefore cannot be combined. Just like I just said, they're not like terms. The answer, 15n plus 20, is simplified because we don't know what n is at this time. All right. Moving on. Here we go. We've got another one. All right. This time, we want to simplify 4 times 7n plus 2. In this particular case, we got 4 times 7n and f 
plus 4 times 2. So that looks like this, 4 times 7n plus 4 times 2, okay? which gives us 28n plus 8. And once again, those are not like terms, so that's our answer, 28n plus 8. All right, on your notes, you have a chance to do six example problems. Here are our six problems. We're going to go ahead and do all six. I want you guys to make sure that you pay very close attention because they do get slightly harder as we go. All right, all six of these need to be in your notes. First one, 7 times 5x plus 7 times 8. So that one's going to be 35x plus 56. All right, next one is going to be 3 times x. Well, 3 times x, it's the same thing as 1x because we have 1x. So what's 3 times 1? Well, that's 3x plus 6. Remember, we need to do both of those. Okay, once again, plus sign just dropped down. This one, we got the plus sign, we got the plus sign. Okay, here we go. 12 times 5a. Well, that one gives us 60a. Plus we have okay, 12 times 2b, which is 24b. Plus we have 12 times 3. Okay, and 12 times 3 gives us 36. So our answer is 60a plus 24b plus 36. Next one, we have 8 times 6c minus 8 times 4. So in this case, we need a subtraction symbol. 8 times 6 is 48c, and 8 times 4 is 32 minus 32. Okay, and that's our answer for this one. Next one. Okay, we're going to have a subtraction, and we're going to have an adding in this time, because we have both of these signs, we're going to drop them down. Okay, 10 times 7t is 70t, 10 times 3c is 30c, and 10 times 2a is 20a. None of those are like terms, so there we go. Now we're done. Okay, so our answer is 70t minus 30c plus 20a. All right, last one. This one's just a little bit longer. We're going to do the same thing. We have plus and plus, so we're going to drop those down. Okay, I'm going to give some space. 4 times 7x is 28x. 4 times 3y is 12y. And 4 times 12z is 48z. And your answer is 28x plus 12y plus 48z. Okay, those are your six examples. You need to have all six of those in your notes. Now, what does that mean? Well, we're going to do a lot of practice on this, which should be really, really easy for you. However, I have a couple that are very similar to your test on Friday. So, I'm going to show you these two as well. Okay, Your test wants you to be able to do the last six, but it also wants you to do these. So let's think about this. These are a little bit more challenging. Which of these is equivalent to 20A plus 12B? Well, whatever you do, they should multiply together to get 20a plus 12b. Let's look at this first one. Well, 4 times 5 is 20a plus oh, 4 times 12. Remember, you got to do it both. That would be 48b, not that one. Okay, it doesn't match up. This one is 4 times 5a, which is 20a, plus 4 times 3b, which is 12b. Hey, wait a minute. I'm pretty sure that's the one we're looking for, 20a plus 3b. And yeah, 2 is our answer. All right, next one. Create an e expression equivalent to 16b plus 20c. All right, so basically what it wants you to do is it wants you to create one that looks like our questions originally. All right, so here's what we're going to do. It's got to be equivalent, which means we're going to have to use a distributive property to break it down. So all I do when I have CDs is ask, what goes into 16 and 20? What's a factor that goes into 16 and 20? Well, 2 does and also 4. We could use either one. I'm actually going to show you both. Okay, so what I would do is take 2 on the outside, and 2 times what gives me 16b? Well, 2 times 8b plus, and 2 times what gives me 20c? Well, 2 times 10 gives me 20, so it's that. I could also have used 4. 4 times what gives me 16? Well, that's 4. I've got to add the b. Plus, 4 times what gives me 20? Well, that's 5. And you're going to add the C. Either one of those are expressions that are equivalent to this guy, and you need to be able to do those for your test on Friday. Ladies and gentlemen, quick video, good luck, have fun. You got a worksheet to do, good on it.